Hey guys, uh, in this video I thought we would show you how we installed LED strip lights in our boat and also talk a bit about uh, some of the different types and generally what to look for regarding LEDs per meter and uh, also there's quite a difference between warm white and warm white, how many lumens and so forth and so forth. Um, First of all, uh, LEDs draw way less current than traditional light bulbs. So if you haven't changed your uh, traditional bulbs to LEDs, go ahead and do it. It's so worth it instead of installing a bigger battery bank and adding more uh, solar panels and uh, so on. Uh, since a single light bulb draws around 10 watt and uh, we had nine of them, I believe, in our boat, which would add up to 90 watts of power if they were all on. That's a lot of power. Anyhow, uh, when I started out, uh, I decided to buy an RGB strip light since being able to change color would be so neat. But as soon as I test fit it in the boat, I realized that the white color was terrible. Uh, cold blue tint and uh, to be perfectly honest I would probably only use the white and possibly red for a nighttime uh, navigation uh, so I ended up returning it to the store uh, once I singled down to a LED strip with just uh, white LEDs uh, the next question that popped up was uh, how many LEDs per meter and how many lumen do I need um, what I realized was that a higher LED count per meter gives a smoother light without small islands of shadow. Uh, I guess it depends on the distance from uh, the, surface, the surface it shines on, but a higher LED count gives a more unifying uh, or smoother light and often more light, uh, more lumens. Uh, the drawback, of course, is a higher power consumption, but that can be sorted out with the dimmer when you dim down when you don't need as much light, um, perhaps at night time or yeah. Uh, anyhow, I chose uh, the 300 LEDs per meter, uh, mostly because there wasn't much price difference and also it had better uh, color rendering index. Um, the strips uh, I use give out uh, 170 lumens per meter. Um, I haven't really compared it to anything else, but at least it would give you an idea looking from the video and the, and the picture. Um, uh, the most important part, in my opinion, is how well uh, the LED lights, and here comes a tough quote, um, measure of, of the ability of a light source uh, to reveal the colors of various objects faithfully in comparison with an ideal or natural light source. This plays a huge part, um, actually. Uh, if the LEDs you're choosing has a low value, uh, everything it shines on will look bland and dull, uh, as you can see in the picture. Um, this is where cheap uh, LEDs differ from uh, more expensive ones. The, ha the higher value, uh, of course, uh, is the better. Make sure you can find uh, the value uh, of the LEDs you have in mind. Uh, oftentimes uh, this isn't printed out and they just choose to call it, quotation, uh, warm white. Uh, this is not the same thing at all. Uh, you can have warm white light with awful color representation. Uh, if they don't print it out, uh, perhaps you can find out what kind of LED diode they are using and uh, search for the diode in particular on Google. If you can't find it, uh, I would probably recommend to look for an, uh, another LED light source. Uh, when it comes to running cables and soldering, uh, uh, I have no really good tips really. I know there are special fittings for the LED strips uh, to connect them to the cables, but I didn't find any close by, so I just ended up soldering the cables directly to the LED strips. Uh, I would strongly not recommend doing this since it's a real pain in the neck to get it to stick uh, to the soldering points and you got lots and lots of insulation to scrape or burn through. Um, the best tip uh, I could give you is to use adhesive spray to get it to stick. Um, the LED strips often come with the double-sided tape but in my case it was, in, it was impossible to get it to stick uh, uh, but with some spray glue it's it stuck uh, quite nicely. Um, regarding uh, controlling the lights, uh, I decided to use a single dimmer for all the LED strips since they are connected in series. I found it to be the easiest and I didn't see the need really to be able to dim the strips individually. Um, should I ever need to do that, I can just cut the cables and uh, use a, another dimmer. Um, I use one quite similar to the one in the picture. It's a touch dimmer. You 
touch it to dim up, uh, touch it again to dim down or power uh, power it off. Um, so, guys, uh, here's the end result. Uh, well, sort of. Uh, it's not quite finished yet, but you, you get an idea. Uh, still working on uh, LED spotlights uh, and so on. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.